Hi everyone, Brian Cermak with another episode of Life Law and Lessons. Today, I want to talk directly to those of you that are going off to college this fall. You know, you're leaving home and at home you had some rules. Some of you had curfews and you had to do what your parents said. Well, guess what? When you go to college, it's not going to be any different. Although your parents aren't there, colleges and universities have their own sets of rules and they're called codes of conduct. Now, there are all sorts of rules and regulations, but I want to focus on four general types very quickly. The first is R, residential rules. If you're going to live on campus, there are probably rules about turning lights on, number of friends you can camp in, when the buildings close, how loud you can play your music. Those are residential hall rules. The second is S, social rules. What can you can you not do in public? Swearing, using profanities, sexual discrimination, racial discrimination, making comments on campus. You know, this is really relevant with all of the protests that have been recently happening this past summer um, with regard to Israel and what's been going on there. So that's S. L is legal. Just like regular laws, there are legal codes of conduct. You can't do illicit drugs. You can't kill somebody. You can't rape somebody. You can't steal things. That's common sense. But what I want us to focus in a little more is the last one, A. A stands for academic codes of conduct. Every school has its rules that you have to follow if you're going to be a student there. Now, academic course of conduct means you don't cheat and you don't plagiarize, but it also means you don't go to chat GPT and have them write an essay for you. If you have violated a code of conduct, particularly an academic code of conduct, the school has the right to either suspend you or possibly expel you from attending their school. And if you're expelled from attending a school, it could be up to a year or two years. It could be a semester, it could be a few days. The important thing is, if you're expelled from one school, you're not gonna get into another one. So what do I suggest you do? You're leaving one set of rules, which your parents tell you how to live because it's their house, you're under their roof. But you're going to a different roof owned by a different person, your college, your university. Go find their code of conduct, glance it over and read it, because the last thing you want you to do is end your college career by breaking one of the rules as soon as you get there. Again, so long as you have a thirst for living, you'll never cease to grow. Until next time, have a great day.